What is up guys, Jay from No Ceilings, bringing you another video. Today we've got War Recap number 4. Let's get started. So taking a look at this war, you can see 100% destruction. Perfect war for us. We were so close with the last two wars, and we finally put it up. So awesome job to everybody at No Ceilings. So starting off looking at the enemy side, these guys were kind of trash, to be honest. They put up two star attacks, and... We defended nicely, so I don't know. They, nice job to you guys, I guess, for trying. But anyway, let's get started on the attacks. First, we're going to be looking at Nam taking our number three. Now, like normal, another Go La Loon, but these are some good attacks. It's a really good strategy to use, so I suggest using it. So it starts here with two Golems and about four wizards in behind just to make that funnel but three wall breakers go down there let everything start going into the core there he's got them four quakes opened up the two air defenses and the enemy queen he sends both his heroes in queen is already taken care of and the king's moving his way through he drops a heal and a rage just to uh keep everything up a little bit more the queen and a few wizards got stuck on that hound popped it in no time Queen's down, first air defense is down, and the second air defense just went down. Everything went really quick there. Starting with a hound on the bottom left, and one on the top left, with a few scattered balloons targeted on those defenses with a couple haste spells. Just cleaning up those defenses, and moving the balloons in there really quick. Sends that third hound in, on the top air defense as well, with a couple more haste just to keep the balloons moving quick. So the last hounds move to the last air defense there, he has a few more balloons he puts on his little backside over here just to take out the distracted defenses. Uh, the hounds pop, but the balloons are standing right on top of that air defense, so there was nothing this base could do. It just got swarmed, and as you can see, he's got pups everywhere. Queen's still up, a uh, hound's still up actually, and like a big wad of balloons just ready to tear through the remaining of this base. So it was an awesome three star. Good job, Nom. So uh, now that's cleaned up, we'll get into number two. Next, we're going to look at Kuhn taking on number six. So this is another Gola Loon, but I mean, they're like I said before, they're good attacks. So uh, starting off here, he... I don't know what he does. Okay, he drops a poison. He's getting ready for that clan castle right away. Drops a few balloons in there to lure it out. So once the... They get lured out, they're pretty much standing right in that poison, and he just lets it do the work for him. So we'll speed through that really quick. A couple things survive that poison, but it's just a wizard and an archer, they're not going to do too much. So he starts off with a golem here, targeting that sweeper, with a few wizards to clean up the couple trash buildings that were in the way. Golem starts rerouting, and uh, he opens that top corner up, puts both his heroes in, enemy queen's already down, and again, his goal here is to get that one air defense in the core. And then he's got a quake and two lightnings for that top air defense. So there he goes. He's putting the quake and the two lightnings on the air defense. And it's down. Everything's moving their way. And that air defense still has to go down. But I'm pretty sure the queen here will step up. Once she takes a few more buildings out, <clears throat> it should go down. There he hits the ability just to make sure that air defense goes down really quick. Then he starts with the hound deployment here. On the left, one hound from the top with a few balloons targeted, and another hound from the bottom with more targeted balloons. So they're just going to be moving their way through. He's got a couple rage spells just to keep them up moving quite quick and doing a little bit more damage. Hounds are on this. The first air defense went down. Hounds went down to the last air defense. The hounds popped, but the balloons are standing right over top of it again, so. He couldn't do anything. <clears throat> These last balloons are just moving through, taking out the final defenses. He's actually running pretty low on balloons here. He's only got about two left, and there's still that one Tesla. But I mean, the pups here are going to be moving in, start distracting that Tesla, and the balloons will be able to move in and take it out. So right here, take out that expo with a couple drops of bomb or whatever they do. And then he, moving up to take out that Tesla. Now that Tesla's down, he's still got a few pups, a couple wizards, and he's got the time to do it. So we'll skip through that. And that was another sweet attack. Nice job, Kuhn. <clears throat> so 
Once that wraps up, we're going to be going to Broish. Haven't showed him yet, so we're going to be looking at his attack on number 9. Now this is a bit of a different attack, but I thought it was pretty neat. This guy's got some seriously beefy heroes, so on these lower level Town Hall 9s, he just walks through them. But anyway, he starts up here with a nice 4 quakes, completely opens up that side of the base. Already half the base is exposed. Goes ahead and drops three golems in with a big swarm of wizards behind. <clears throat> a few wall breakers on each of those side compartments. Queen in the middle and king. Everything's going to be moving in and just taking out this whole top section of the base. So poison come, or I mean the CC comes out. He drops a poison for it. He's also got four witches behind just to bring those skeletons up and distract quite a bit. So that dragon went down now, heroes are moving their way through, beating their way through the core, and really with his goal here, he wants to grab all four of those air defenses. So he's got a heal and a rage there for all his troops in the core, which keeps them all up enough to take out these four air defenses. And then after that goes out, he's going to start placing his balloons on his backside. He's got ten of them, and he's just going to put two on each defense. And again, the base, there's nothing that can stop it since all the air defenses are down. And there's only just a couple archer towers and wizard towers to do anything. And with that many bloons and stuff in the core tanking, no, nah, nothing's going to take him out. So, taking out the last few defenses here, he got a quake down there swagging. And a few troops on the outside to uh, clean up. And the base is gone. Awesome attack, broish. That was a really, really nice three star. So, number four I think we're on here. We're moving down one spot, number 10, Hung taking this one out. So Hung's got a go, go wee wee with about eight balloons for the backside. So let's see what he does. Drops in three golems on this top compartment with a few wizards in behind. A few wall breakers for the golems to start rerouting. Actually only one rerouted for some reason. I don't know where those other two are going, but... He's got a jump which makes them all reroute. He's got a few witches in the back, a king and a pekka in the clan castle. They all start moving their way in. His queen here is starting to take a little bit of a walk, but she luckily does come in to the core to help out. He's got all those wizards and witches in there under a heal and a rage. Nothing's going to take them out. They get into that core really nice and start just wrecking everything. <clears throat> He's got another heal, I think. Yeah, another heal down there in the core to take him out. He wanted to get those air defenses and then just swarm this little back backside with the balloons. I'm actually not too sure why he didn't place all the balloons on that one air defense and let them move through. But, you know, his balloons kind of got wrecked. But he had enough witches and everything to keep, keep going through the base. And he had enough firepower to take out these last few defenses. There's just a couple Teslas, two Archer Towers, and a Mortar. Not very much up, but he just has enough to do it. So kind of a lucky attack, but he got it, so that's what matters. A three star is a three star. Remember that. So now that that one's done, get into number five. We're moving down to the Town Hall 8s. Looking at Furious Lion taking out number 16. Doing this one with the old-fashioned drag attack. Two lightnings, one quake on an air defense, and then you swarm the two air defenses with dragons. So he quakes, quake lightnings at uh, left side one, and he's pretty much going to start with the dragons on this top. And he's got a rage and a haste just to get them in there. And you can already see what's going to happen. These air defenses are fairly exposed, and his dragons can get to them like nothing. So the dragons get to the air defenses already. Oh, that's a little bit too fast. <clears throat> he does a little bit of a quake. King swap, well he tries to, kind of fails. Level 7 King doesn't have quite enough health to uh, take out that level 9 while other defenses are shooting at him. So he's got about 4 dragons up here. Going through, he got 1 Tesla left to uh, take out and nothing else can take out his dragons. So another nice attack, old fashioned style, nice to bring those ones back. So let's let them clean up the last few defenses. And we'll get into our last attack, another Town Hall 8. So this one is Wizkid, taking out number 17. Another nice attack, and this one is a straight up hog attack. 
So here, what does he do? Drops one Barbarian. I'm not sure what that was for. Maybe he's just looking for some bombs or something. It's a nice spread out base, so the bombs could really be anywhere. <clears throat> Drops one Hog there, just to test. Uh, I'm not too sure what he's doing here, so let's just wait and see. Okay, yeah, he wanted to get that CC lure. It's a bit. It was on a weird uh, angle, so yeah, a little bit of trouble trying to get that. But he did end up getting it. Double poison with a few wizards. CC goes down really, really fast. Starts off here with just a two finger drop with all his hogs, and like I said in my last video, when you're at Town Hall eight and you just swarm a base with hogs and you have good heal spell placements, like there's nothing the base can do. It's completely gone so you can already see this base is done enemy kings down super fast attack we had that on two speed but whatever you guys get the point <clears throat> another great attack and he's got so many hogs up so many wizards for cleanup still got his king's ability and pretty much everything's already dead town hall eight, it's so overpowered you guys should be using it more so i think that's all the attacks we got for you this time another awesome war Great job to everybody for that perfect war. Been waiting for that one for a couple of wars there. So uh, that's all we got for today. Hope you liked it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. No ceilings is out. Peace.